Hello, everybody. This is Karen, head chef here in our kitchen classroom. Welcome to our learning space for today. I've really been thinking a lot about what it means to play and to have fun. And when I think of play in the kitchen, one of the first things that comes to mind is Play-Doh. Now, when I was growing up, we had something that was commercially prepared in all sorts of colors and had this uh, what would probably be a nostalgic smell now, <laughs> but these days that's something that you can make with some very simple ingredients that you probably already have right there in your pantry. So let me show you how. We'll get started. We're going to start by mixing up a little bit of plain, all-purpose, your basic simple flour. And I'm going to measure out a little bit of that right here into my mixing bowl. We're just making a small amount for today, so that's about a cup. We'll set that aside and mix up about half of that same amount of salt, okay? Now, salt is a wonderful preservative. So I have used this in a variety of learning spaces to make with young children, and this salt has helped to not only preserve, but also to keep the bacteria at bay when you get lots and lots of little hands mixing up your play-doh and working it and using it day after day after day <laughs> so we're going to add approximately half the amount of salt that we did with flour okay next i've got a simple vegetable oil you can use whatever kind you like here again this is not for consumption so uh just about a tablespoon or so Now, I'm going to be using quite a bit of this for a little while, and I'm going to play with it. So I'm going to add a touch of vanilla extract, just because I love the way it smells. And then we're going to add some water. Now, to make this fun, we're going to add a little bit of color into our water here. I like purple. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of red and yellow here to turn the water purple. That way, the color will mix evenly throughout the dough as we need it. So, just a little bit of red here, right into the water. A touch of blue. And a little spoon to stir it up. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. <laughs> All right. So we've got our ingredients here in the mixing bowl. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a stir, start to bring that together, and slowly add the liquid until it comes together to form the dough. Now this all comes together very quickly, as you see. I'm doing it much faster here as I'm doing it by myself this morning than I might do it if I had small hands assisting me. Then of course we want to go at their pace. Add another little splash of the liquid here to start to bring the dough together. And you'll see it just starts to form into a little ball. Now I like to start this in a bowl first and then we'll take it out and use the best kitchen tools we have available, our hands. <laughs> okay, now it's important that you feel and look and touch and smell and even taste as you're mixing up your ingredients. This is looking a little bit wet to me, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the flour here and sprinkle some out on my work surface. Put a bit on my hands to keep them from sticking, and then we're going to pour the dough out onto the counter. Okay. There we go. And there's our little ball of dough. Now it's still a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to work that with my hands just a little bit. Just kneading the dough gently. This can be a very slow and relaxing process if you like it to be. 
if you're feeling frustrated, it can be a little angry. You can really get in there and pound it if you like. <laughs> this dough is fun and incredibly forgiving. So you can treat it exactly as you're feeling. <laughs> Okay, and in just that short amount of time, this dough has come together to make a nice smooth ball. <laughs> now the possibilities are absolutely endless with your Play-Doh. What do you feel like making today? I've been thinking about a variety of different kinds of baked desserts, things like pies or cakes or cookies or Oh, breads. I saw a beautiful focaccia the other day. So playing with this dough, getting my hands in the dough and kneading it and feeling it and shaping it can give me the opportunity to see what I'm most interested in creating today. And we can use that opportunity to explore that creativity and get some practice for whatever the dough decides to become in your kitchen classroom. So make some Play-Doh today. Leave a comment. Let me know how your Play-Doh turned out. What kinds of fun things are you going to make in your kitchen classroom today? I can't wait to hear about it.